Hello YouTube, Asuma here with another episode of our Super Hostile Spellbound Caves. So we're here at Intersection 3 and we're going to go into the Skittering Mine. Last time we took on Blackheart Citadel and got two walls from there and I think we have three left so one of these areas has got to have two. And here's our first victim. Oh, I missed. <laughs> right, now this bow has knockback five on it and it doesn't really seem to add anything. Oh yeah, and I've got to take my potions. Uh, some of you are asking why I always take these. And um, since I started taking potions, which I was actually resisting in the beginning, I've now uh, quite like them. Uh, I feel like they give me a little extra bit of protection in case, uh, you know, blazes spawn. And it makes me stronger as well, so it's all good. And I've got a feeling, yeah, I've put my volume on too low. I'm just going to turn that up quickly. Right, let's have a look. So we've got cave spider spawners, and they're always a pain. Mm, quite a lot more mobs. I think last time I came here it didn't seem... There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, one hit kill was that? Hmm. And we do have some TNT, and I think, I kind of get this thing like if I use, oh, if I use the TNT, oh, here we go, there he is. Ah, always getting interrupted by mobs when I'm trying to talk. So as I was trying to say, um, I get the feeling like if I use the TNT to blow up the spawners, it's going to be some sort of crap. Um... I don't know, it doesn't seem right that Vex would help you, you know, destroy the spawners that he's carefully placed. I've got a bane of the amphipods, is that right? So there, yeah, take the spiders out one hit kill with this sword. Which is nice. Oh, just step back. Right, I am going to hop back up here and change change my sword to um, this slot. And I can get that with my hotkey. Uh, it seems like there's going to be a lot of spider spawners around here. And oh, there is the poison again. Always the poison. glowstone just to make it that bit brighter again not using hotkeys anyway enough about me and my inability to use hotkeys right not going to use the TNT oh there you are I need to fill that one in and he went right I'm going to replace this with glowstone. This way I should be able to get across here a bit, but not too far. I don't want to get hit by a skelly and drop down here. Oh, oh so many of them. Why did you just stop then? They just seem to stop tracking me or something. Ah, they still keep coming from this way. Come on, let's get a couple more of these down. Right, they keep coming from the left now, so I think we've got to get down there and clear. Oh, here we go, this is why we've got a spawner right here. Don't want to use up all my glowstone just yet. Okay, doing good. Oh, let's get back, let's get back. Got a feeling there's a spawner down there, maybe not. Oh, 
Oh. Ah, I can see a spawner just up there on the left. But I think it's time to make a bit of a retreat. Ah, oh, there you are. Right, let's get a bit of glowstone right in the middle here. So I'm just thinking, got to be extra careful with uh, creepers. There's our diamond on the, this one because I can see a bunch of redstone torches there. Oh, that's never good. There's some sort of devious redstone trap here. So, um, as I was trying to say, um, creepers, got to be careful with creepers because if they blow up, they're going to blow up this TNT and I can't help but feel there's going to be some sort of chain reaction with uh, big consequences. So I uh, don't want to set any of that off. Oh, let's get out my, uh, my sword. Not the poison. Oh, hello. Down you go. Okay, um, let's get up a little bit. It always helps because of the the void fog. Right, I'm gonna have a look around that corner and try and figure out what this redstone stuff is, and then we'll try and light up the other side and make that wooden walkway uh, a little safer. gold. Okay, um, I did say I was planning on going to the nether to get my oh, more gold up here, lots of iron, but um, yeah, it looks like I can get some from here. And actually, there's not many mobs around at the moment, so while I can, I think I'm going to light this place up, and I can hear zombies now. Hello. Uh, top up my torches quickly and there's no real need for that fire potion in here it seems I haven't seen any blaze yet but I'm sure Vex has something planned for us okay we're doing really good and I want to investigate okay I just saw you spawn so somewhere around here oh okay bad 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 that's not good, I've got the wrong... <laughs> oh, we've got a skelly over there. Please don't track me. Right, I'd forgotten about my hunger meter, so I'm just going to stand here for a minute. Okay, so um, nothing went wrong there, just uh, stood here. It was quite nice and peaceful, and uh, my potions have run out as well. Uh, what did we have? A sword and cobblestone. And so, right, we know there's a couple of spawners around here. So I just want to make sure I light this place up properly. Here we go. Ah, saw you jump. Right, I think I saw something up the top there. Um, let's just light up where this iron is. Make our way up here. Make sure this is lit. Right, that's great. I bet there's a trap behind all that diamond and gold, though. Yeah, that's what I saw, and that's what I thought it would be. A nice... Uh, there's going to be a wall in there, so that's good. Um, and where's the other wall? I think there's only one wall in here. So let's go um, make our way across. I'm going to walk around this way. And I dare not pull that lever. Um, it goes all the way up there. God knows what's up there. Anyway. Sword at the ready. Could be a trap. Interesting. I bet that's a trap. <laughs> Right, um, purple wall, fantastic. I think we'll do the diamond and gold and get all of that last because I, I really do think there's going to be traps. Um, but we 
done good. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be, and I've got a feeling the other area is where the two walls are going to be. So, I'm going to go there next and uh, just make sure I get up here safely. Might need some of that, so I'll take it with me. And there we go, that should be that area cleared. Um, not sure if there is. Do you know what? There's a couple of signs on the bridge there, and I sort of want to read them now, but now we'll go. Um, I'm going to pop back to the base and uh, make sure. Actually, I think I am all supplied up. Yeah, and uh, if I die and lose that purple wall, it shouldn't be difficult to get back and get it again. So, yeah, we'll go straight into this one. And this, I've been told, is the hardest. And I think there's a bit of evidence there, because there's already. Uh, Right, so the edges are going to be a trap in a way because they're going to be slow and hard to get off of. What am I doing? Right, I want to place down some glowstone on these. There's something over there. And I'm out of torches. <laughs> okay, I'll go back and restock up my supplies. Just notice this on the way back in. These crypts contain a shortcut. Something to think about there. Uh, so I'm going to go down and check uh, one of those crypts. I think it's under these big pillars or whatever you want to call them. So um, I'll wait a minute. Uh, might as well drink them now. And um, I changed my armour. I've got the projectile protection and I've got some new iron boots. And what sword do we want? A sword and some blocks. And we're good to go. We've got lots of torches. Uh, running low on glowstone. I can always get more some other time if it's needed. Okay. Dropping from up there, I can see the spawners now. Right. I've uh, got to think about this. How are we going to take those things down? Hmm. Deviously placed. Starting to think that rushing might be a good idea. Oh, they're having a fight. And we have a winner. And you're gonna die. Ah! That's how knockback works. Ah, oh, brilliant, okay. This is really useful then. That's so if they're getting close, yeah. I thought it would be the arrow that would make them knock back. Okay, right. Um, what was I just thinking? I want to have a little look. Uh, just what's, uh, what is under there? Do you know what? I'm going to rush in, I think. There we go, right. Ah. Oh. Always the way. It's just ready to run. Let's go. Okay, good. It's not a trap. Let's turn around. Brilliant. Looting as well. Let's oh, I've got to be careful here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for now instead of the other knockback one. Right. Let's get out of here. Off you go. So I'm starting to think this is gonna be so difficult to get up there and disable them. They're gonna constantly be dropping down. I think I'd like to do something a bit crazy, to be honest. You might not agree with me, but I think I'm going to rush to the end of the room and see what's there. Still got our potions, got full hunger. Hmm, this could go really bad. So skeletons got to watch out for. Let's place some torches as we go. Oh, no, 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 not spiders, not spiders. Anything but spiders, right? Yeah, this <laughs> looks absolutely creepers. Oh god. Ok, 
Okay, we're getting near the end. I can see something up the top there. This was a really crazy idea. I don't normally do this. And there's nothing but soul sand here. Let's get to safety. Oh, and another wall. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think we found the two walls. By luck, almost. Green wall, let's take that. Right, we need a plan. Oh, I'm going to use blocks. That's a good plan. <laughs> and, uh... I should have eaten. Let's, uh, I don't even know if I'm actually in the right place now. Get out of range, get out of range, please be out of range. Oh, where is that hole I saw? Have I gone right past it? I have. Okay, uh, let's eat. First of all, let's eat. And now, blazes have spawned. Perfect timing, my friends. Perfect timing. Let's get across here really quickly. Oh no, it wouldn't be another wall room just yet. I was too, uh, too hopeful there. You can go back, and you can go back. Go back, go back. And we've got a bunch more chests. And there's nothing here. Which is, I'm just thinking about that um, thing that Vex said earlier as well about the crypts being a shortcut. I bet you can't guess which way to dig, hint, that way. Railway kit, railway kit. Right, that to me is a hint that I've got a long way to go if I dig through here. I'm also worried of it being a trap. So we'll keep our distance. How far do we have to go? So, um, I'm aware that Vex can uh, set off a trap uh, by perimeter. Perimeter? Is that right? Um, oh! That is the Arcane Library. How interesting. Yeah, we don't really want to go there, do we? Um, See, so yeah, as I was trying to say, um, Vex can set off a trap by me being within 16 blocks of a mob spawner, activating it, and when it activates it will set up a pressure plate, and yeah. So, now that we are missing one wall, I am not too sure what to do. Come on. Gotcha. And like that, there we go. So... Another one. I wonder if there's a wall in any other of these crypts that um, Vex has set up here. I think he knows. I think I know what he means by shortcut as well now. Oh, I have an army of friends. I have something with me that I want to share with them. Right, uh, but I don't have any wood. <laughs> Silly. That's something I usually do. And there we go, it's all good. So what do we not need here? I need two blocks, what am I doing? Oh, I'm running out of time on my potions as well. So all our friends are here. Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Right, so I've got two ideas. First of all involves doing a little digging, but we're going to uh, top up our potions. And what did I need? Food. And something quite important, building blocks. So let's head back down. I think it's worth jumping. Yes, it is. Out of my way, out of my way. Oh, please get out of my way. Oh no, that's really bad. That's the kind of company I don't want. Oh, there you go. Oh, 
Oh, another hairy moment survived. <sighs> Take a moment to breathe. And we're good. So, um, when Vex said about having a shortcut, I think he meant this. It's not really a shortcut. Because uh, you don't want to be digging constantly. But these all seem to be uh, aligned the same, and you can hear all the mobs dropping down above. And there we go. I think that's all we need. So, I'll tell you the safe way back, and yeah, I'll just dig my whole way back. Um, I'll do it off camera because it's a little boring, and if any anything happens, yeah. Um, I'll keep recording and I'll cut it in case anything happens is what I mean. Okay, so I'm making my way along still and uh, yeah, found a chest. So what do I want to take? Um, top up on the arrows, I'll have the torches. Yeah, anyway, um, I've just been thinking. The whole time that I'm moving across like this, um, I think I'm activating the spawners and also it's quite possible that I could have a large group of mobs uh, following me, tracking my movement underground, but I can't see any of them. I can see a skelly or someone up there, so um, anyway, I'll continue digging. Okay, we're at the last room and um, Pix almost died. Did I just see a creep up there? Oh dear. Right, let's block that hole up. Yeah, not good. Use your sword. Come on, right. Oh dear. So anyway, I've got to rush out this last bit and it could go horribly wrong. Oh, it is going horribly wrong, should I say. Come on, up we get. And here we go. Alright, so we got out of there safely. And uh, I was starting to think, well, we got a wall out of that area. I'm not sure if there's two in this one or the skittering mine. But what I think I'm going to do is go get a pick. We'll go into the skittering mine, get our gold and diamond, and we'll go place what we've got on the victory monument and see if uh, what else we need to get. Okay, so we're here at the skittering mine. And uh, I decided we'll um, have, a, have a look over the other side there. What else do I need? Blocks, that was it. Um, in case there's another wall room here, but first of all, I just want to get my um, diamond and gold, and very worried that uh, this might set off some TNT or something like that. So um, here goes to nothing. Let's see. Let's have a look. All looks genuine so far. No, it doesn't look like there's going to be some sort of bud switch or something. So let's take these. And we need nine for a diamond block. And I'll probably take some more anyway, actually, because um, I can make some armor with it. And there we go. Let's hop down and get that one. Let's see how much we got. 18, that's fairly good. And now we need some gold. Get some from over here. And again, I actually don't think this is oh, going to be a trap, so... Uh, I'll just go ahead and take this. Just need uh, nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks, brilliant. And uh, out of curiosity, I really want to see what those other diamond blocks up there were. And I've got the feeling that this will be the trap. So let's have a look this way. Ah, there we go, silverfish. Although... Okay, it was a trap. Oh dear. And I'm not sure... Go away. I uh, don't want to attack you actually, because then more of your buddies turn up. Right, so it definitely was some sort of trap. I'm not sure how we um, set that one off, but there we go. It doesn't appear to be anything that way. I should also read these signs. Is it time to be awesome? Then the answer is yes. I think he's just saying it will blow up all the iron for you, uh, which helps. Right. We'll be careful here because of the skellies. And I think there might be something back there. 
Mining with a pick is tedious. How about we mine with something else this time? Yeah, encouraging you to use the TNT. But it's got to be a trap. Okay, there is nothing over there by the looks of it. I didn't have these goddamn... Oh, we got a lot of mobs chasing now. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's nothing behind there. So that looks like this area cleared. And uh, let's head back to the Victory Monument. So here we are at the Victory Monument. We have two walls and two blocks, so let's have a look. Purple. There we go. Green. So we are missing one more, the blue wall. Got our diamond block and gold, so we just need one more thing now. And I think I'm going to go back to the crypt and check that place out again, because I think the last wall will be there. And I've only still only died twice, which is brilliant. So, uh, let's make our way back. So, I was on my way back, and uh, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I'm no TNT expert, by the way, so I don't know if this is going to work. Let's get back over here. And no, it didn't. <laughs> I planned on it blowing up a lot more than that, as you can see. Okay, so I've placed a lot more TNT. Awesome, that worked. <laughs> I didn't get much uh, glowstone from it though. But anyway, this will do. We'll take this into the last area with us. So we are back and I've got a sword, diamond sword, uh, some diamond armour, and I've got loads of potions again, which I'm going to take now. And I'm missing something from my hotbar. I've uh, got two swords, block, light. Uh, what on earth is the other thing? Oh, that would be it, a pick. So yeah, I've brought with me some sticks, some wood if I need to make a crafting table and some iron. Because um, I might be doing some digging. But I just had another idea on the other way here. Um, right, I'm activating those spawners, which I don't want to do. So basically I was thinking I could dig between every single crypt which would take a long time, but it's fairly safe digging between them and then we'd be able to find out if Vex hid another wall room down there, which I don't think he would so this is my plan let's go up here and have a look, I don't want to be activating those spawners and now I'm activating that one and there we go, so from up here should be able to get... Now I wonder what this obsidian is for. It's a creeper face, isn't it? <laughs> Very nice. Hmm, I wonder if he's hidden the wall room behind there now. I don't think... Oh dear. Bad news. Okay. You come up the top and you're activating the blazes. That's never good. Okay, nice. Right. So, where has he put this other wall room? Because I don't think he's put it down the bottom again. Let's go down a couple of blocks and see if we can't... Yeah, there we go. The blazes aren't spawning either now, but now these ones are. Can't get the best of both worlds, can you? Oh, I'm still activating that one, it appears. Right, let's go down a couple of blocks again. Make this platform a little safer. Oh, still activating it, All right. Okay, we're going to have to go back down. Hmm. Yeah, oh, that's bad, that's bad. Let's get my knock back. Let's get safe. Let's, to, let's get to safety, Christ. All right. That was a bit frantic, okay. So I think I'm going to have to go with the mining option at the moment. It doesn't seem like it's worth doing anything else just yet. Because you don't want to go through all the hassle. Yeah, sorry, you don't want to go through all the hassle of fighting mobs and stuff and then 
it turns out it was underground. So I'll do this bit off camera because it's quite boring, but I'm going to dig through all of the mines and see if there's another wall room. Okay, so I think I've dug my way to the end because I can't see anything out here. Yep. So I think I'm going to have to go over there and have a look around now. And this is a recipe for disaster, but here we go. God, that is a lot of mobs. Right, let's get to safety. Come on, got to be quick. Got all these skellies after me. Oh, Jesus. I forgot about that. <laughs> let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Come on, down we go, down we go. Horribly wrong. Right, so I need uh, my fire protection really, but I've also got this feather falling. I think I'm going to use that for the moment. <sighs> so loud with all those mobs. Okay, let's take my potions. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is a sort of run through and try and be observant as I can. So we've got knockback X. I'm going to probably take that on the way. I can throw it in front of me if I get in a si sticky situation. Um, what's my other? Oh, yeah, blocks. Always got to have blocks. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> this feels like uh, the end, if you like. Right, let's look. Let's look everywhere we can. I've got loads of glowstone now. Oh, God, this is bad. Do not see anything anywhere that resembles anything like a war room. Let's use some torches actually. I was thinking maybe uh, in the middle of the map there could be something. And uh, my mouse seems to be getting stuck which is really annoying. So if this fails and I can't find anything, which it looks like is going to happen, my mouse keeps locking up, it's very annoying. And I really don't see anything. We've got blaze spawners at the top if I try and climb up, it seems like. Ah, I don't have any food in my health bar, which isn't good. Let's do that now, before I don't have a choice. So this armor's holding up well, which is good, otherwise I don't think I'd have a chance. Again, just can't see anything up there. Right, it's time to do something different. <sighs> this isn't going to work, come on. Quicker. <sighs> this is really not going to work, right. Let's get out of here. So, um, my other thought was uh, the middle, the very middle of this place, at the very top, I reckon there would be some sort of wall room. Um, don't ask me why, it just feels like that's where I'd put it. I'm not Vex, but... Hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, so what on earth do I do next? Right, I'm going to have a think. Right, I have, still have no plan, and I'm just going to keep running around and lighting this all up, which will... Probably not help me in the slightest, but maybe I've missed something somewhere. Maybe he's put the wall room at the edge, on the ceiling, anywhere. Maybe it's on top of one of these. Actually, you know what? That might be worth looking for. Up the top there somewhere. I don't see anything, and I can't remember. Oh, okay, okay, let's keep going. starting to feel like this uh, armour really is too overpowered, but um, there you go, it's not against the rules, so, okay, I see nothing at the top, and my mouse keeps locking up, which is so annoying. Alright, what to do, what to do, let's make a run down this side. 
still can't see anything. And soon I think what I might do is count all of the different ones that there are and figure out where the centre is and perhaps, I don't know, have a look around there. I haven't gone down all the, um, all through the different crypts by the way. I've gone down one strip and figured that surely Vex wouldn't put two of them in there and I can't sprint anymore. I'll tell you what, before we do anything else it's best to double check so I'll make sure I've dug through every single crypt and uh, yeah. Oh, oh Christ, come on. Where are we going to go? Get in here. Um, and I've taken my building block out of my uh, inventory. Which is. Uh, use that. Right, so um, that's not blocked up. I'm going to go through and make sure I've gone through every single one of these. Okay. This is it. I just broke into this room, and what is that there? Oh, I'm so glad I decided to uh, <laughs> to do this again. I was thinking that perhaps he would hide the wall up in the ceiling somewhere, and I was going to go to the middle of the room and try and build a tower. But there we go. The blue wall. The mysterious blue wall. Now, if I can get back in one piece, that's it. We've... Uh, finished the map. <laughs> I'm really relieved. It's been really, really fun, I'll tell you that. And uh, it's the first one I've completed. Um, right, we're at the end, so let's just destroy this and see all you mobs later. Off we go. So, we have arrived, and uh, here we go. There it is. I'm really proud of that. Completed the victory monument. Died twice. All in all, I think it went really well. And uh, that's it then. That's the end of the series, uh, you might think. Um, got one more special episode to come. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.